Hello everyone, good evening. <laughs> good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you guys? Tired. Very good. Very good. Very good and tired also. <laughs> yeah, it's drama. Ya, ya vengo de escuchar eso que ya bastante gente me va diciendo, I'm tired, right? And it's just Tuesday, you guys. Apenas es Tuesday y ya estamos cansados. All right. Jesus, I really need a pardon. All right, everyone. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you. Let's get started. Berkeley is good for you. Beginners to class number 10. Ya casi van a terminar, I can't believe it. Jesus. Pareciera que fue ayer que iniciamos. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get started. We have, do you remember? Mention at least five vocabulary words from the food pyramid. Sé que ayer, I know that yesterday, not all of you passed. No todos lograron pasar, right? I know that. Pero... Tal vez, eh, if you already practice, you know the vocabulary. So let's start with Emma. Emma, tell me five or at least three vocabulary words that you remember. Broccoli, vegetables, fish, beef, bread, cereal, Carrot. And very good. You remember all of them. Si se acuerda. <laughs> Excellent. Let's go with Mayra. Ha, Mayra, tell me three or five. You decide. Beef. Meal. Um, strawberries. Strawberries. Excellent. Very good. Now let's get to Cecilia Rodriguez. Tell me three vocabulary words, Cecilia, please. Okay. Uh, milk, oil, onions, garlic, pears, celery. All right, very good. Very good, Cecilia. Excellent. Now let's go to number two. No, number two, no yet. Let me check in Marvin. Tell me three or five vocabulary words, please. Your first. Se congeló, Marvin. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> right. No se preocupe, a mí no uh, <laughs> uh, Vamos a ver este. Cream, mm -hmm. uh, rice. Potato, tomato, cheese, milk, yogurt, beef, chicken, fish. All right, very good. <laughs> very good. The whole pyramid, the whole pyramid, Marvin. Excellent. Very good. I'm happy that Thank you remember the vocabulary. Me alegra que si recuerden el vocabulary, right? Pues el tema gramatical ustedes ya lo tienen, que es el simple present. Pero si no nos acordamos del vocabulary, nos va a costar mucho generar esas sentences. So, everybody, let's move on. Para los que no pasaron ayer. <laughs> let's get started with Carla Abrego. Ah, Carlita, tell me the food word pyramid. Um, cream, candy, butter, oil, potato chips, Fish, ah, tengo que decir el nombre, ¿verdad? Meat and other protein, creo que así es. Fish, beans, chicken, nuts, beef, eggs, um, dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese, and fruit, bananas, apple, orange, strawberry, mangoes. Mm -hmm. Be vegetables, vegetables, uh, okay, vegetables, broccoli, broccoli, 
carrot, lettuce, tomato, e potato, um, grains, bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Repeat after me, Carlita. Okay. Apples. Apples. Mm -hmm. All right. Sí, Apples. I know. Yo sé bien que la A suena como A en el abecedario, pero aquí va a sonar como A. Right? Apples. 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 Y tomatoes. Tomatoes. Potatoes. Tomatoes. Potatoes. Excellent. Thank you, okay. Carla. Let's go with Beatriz Campos. Tell me the vocabulary, please. Cream, candy, butter, eh, oil, eh, potato chips, meat, um, eight protein, fish, brain, beans, chicken, noodles, beef, eggs, eh, yogurt, milk, cheese, uh, fru fruit, bananas, apples, eh, strawberry, orange, mangoes, eh, vegetal, broccoli, vegetable, broccoli, curry, lechu, tomatoes, potatoes, green, grains, bread, cereal, crackers, eh, rice, eh, no, mm, nobles, noodles, eh, pasta. All right, repeat after me, Beatriz. Bread, bread, noodles, noodles. Excellent. Thank you so much, Beatriz. Oh, thank you. All right, let's go with. Kimberly, hey Kimberly, you didn't pass yesterday, right? Usted no pasó ayer, right? Okay, action. Food, fat, oil, sugar. Cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips, meat and other proteins. Fish, beans, chicken, nuts, Eight, beef, dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese, fruit, bananas, apples, orange, strawberries, mangoes, vegetables, broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes, grains, bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, and pasta. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, Kimberly. Let me check if we have somebody else. Kenya Sanchez. Good evening, Kenya. Hello. All right. Jasmine. Good evening, Jasmine. Hmm. Lo de la torre le digo, teacher. Yes, please. Cream, butter, candy, oil, uh, potato, chips, bems, fish, nuts, beef, chickens, eggs, meal, cheese, yogurt, bananas, uh, orange, stamberry, mangoes. Apples, broccoli, eh, tomatoes, potatoes, carrots, lettuce, rent, cereal, eh, pasta, no, noodles. All right, excellent. Thank you, Jasmine. Repeat after me. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Potatoes. Potatoes. Apples. Apples. Cereal. Cereal. Noodles. Noodles. 
All right, excellent. Thank you so much, Jasmine. Now, let me check somebody else. Let's listen to Ayer. Yesterday, only in Cecilia Romero, you passed yesterday. Usted pasó ayer, right? Yes. Fue la primerita, creo yo. And Emma, did you pass yesterday? Or no? No. Okay, tell me. The word food pyramid. Fat, oil, sugar. Cream, butter, candy, oil, potato, chips. Dairy. Milk, cheese, yogurt. Meat and other protein. Eggs, beef, nuts, chicken, banana, no, beans, fish, fruit, bananas, apples, strawberries, oranges, mangoes, vegetables, broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes, grains, bread, cereal, Crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. All right, excellent, Emma. Thank you so much. Okay. Very good. Let's go to the following. Um, Nestor Amilcar, you didn't pass yesterday, right? Don't worry. All right, if you're eating, don't worry. No, no problem. Yeah, okay. Finish. Uh, Nestor, did you pass yesterday? No, right? No, no. Yet? Okay. Tell me the vocabulary, please. Uh, teacher, uh, lo puede ampliar, porfa. Yes, sir. Ahorita. Pero déjenme que en el otro curso hice eso. Okay. Let's get now. Ah, thank you. You're welcome. Fat, oily, sugar. <laughs> Spring, butter, candy, oil, potato chips, meat and other protein, fish, beans, chickens, nuts, eggs, beef, dairy, milk, cheese, yogurt, fruit, bananas, apples, orange, strawberries, mangoes, vegetables, broccoli, carrot, ¿cómo se esta sí? Lettuce. Lettuce. Letters, tomatoes, potatoes, grains, bread, cereal, cracker, rice, noodles, pasta. That's correct, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Now, uh, let me check. I'm trying, you guys. I know that most of you already practice the vocabulary, maybe. Yo espero que todo el día hayan practicado vocabulary. All right, o sea, no todo el día, pues, porque trabajan, pero que ya hayan hecho un review de eso, del vocabulary, porque uno lo necesitan para comunicarse en to, to create sentences, y dos, pues, para crear las oraciones, all right. Recuerden, ahorita comenzamos con sentences y con el tiempo ustedes van a crear párrafos y hasta ensayos, all right. Paragraphs and essays. Let's go with, I'm trying to remember, Mayra, you didn't pass yesterday, right? Usted no pasó ayer. Print, candy, berry, oil, potato cheese, um, dairies, fish, beans, chicken, nuts, egg, beef, meal, Yogurt, cheese, freeze, bananas, apples, strawberries, mangoes, orange, um, um, lettuce, mm -hmm. potatoes, tomatoes, carrots, broccoli, bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, mm -hmm. pastas. Excellent. Thank you, Mayra. Repeat after me. Rice. Rice. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Arroz. Rice. Es que por la muela no puedo. Ah? Ah, yeah. La muela. Oh, Mayrita, it's true, right? 
Y de hecho me avisa Mayra, si no puede practicar mucho, don't worry. Me avisa, All right? No, sí. Excellent. Let's continue. All right, you guys. I think we finished for today's the vocabulary. Let's move on. These are the examples that I showed you yesterday. And yesterday I told you to create only three sentences. No, one sentence, right? But today you're going to create more. Alexis Balmore, please tell me the three sentences. Léame las tres oraciones, please. Hidden examples. Number one, I, li I like pure butter, butter and oil. Number two, I, I don't like candies and cream. Number three, my mother likes fish, nuts, and beets, but she doesn't like cheese and yogurt. All right, exactly. Thank you, sir. Now, you guys, si por ahí vieron que me acerqué demasiado la cara a la cámara, no porque estaba conectando mi computer. All right, so I'm sorry about that. Let's continue. Let's see. What do we have? Yay, your favorite part of the class. Su parte favorita de la clase. Practice time. Marvin, tell me the instructions, please. Okay. Uh, work, number one, work individually to create sentences using the full priming. Three, use the act of the category from the parliament. Four, some sentences should be on um, third person singular. That's correct, sir. Thank you. All right. Let's create sentences. Create as much as you want. Creen al menos two or three, all right? Que sean algunas third person singular, otras first person singular. En unas pueden utilizar sus auxiliaries in negative. All right. Let's work on it. Trabajemos en eso. If you, by any means, you're going to use two verbs, si por alguna razón queremos utilizar eh, dos verbos, for example, I like eating pizza, right? Me gusta comer pizza, lo cual no está en la pirámide de comida, <laughs> all right? Because it's not healthy, porque no es saludable, all right? Pero quieren utilizar two verbs, like and eating. Ese eating va a funcionar como un gerund, como un gerundio, right? Tienen dos opciones. Pueden utilizar el infinitive, que sería I like to eat pizza, o el gerund, I like eating pizza. Cualquiera de las dos es posible en el simple present, porque ese ing no es del presente continuo. All right? Ese es un gerund, un gerund. Lourdes, do you have a question? Not teacher, finish. All right, excellent, very good. Let's wait for your classmates. Vamos a esperar a sus compañeros, all right? Like two more minutes. Finish, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Emma. Excellent, Kimberly, thank you.
Yeah, teacher. Finished. All right, excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Mayra. Let's get started, everybody. Let's start with Lourdes Nerio. Please tell me your sentences. I like yogurt and crackers. I don't like mangoes and an egg. Lisa likes beef and cereals, and she don't like chicken and candies. <laughs> Let's check, my friend. Lisa, it's first person or third person singular, Lourdes. Para usted, Lisa es primera persona o, o tercera persona? Ajá, third person. Entonces, no utilizamos don't. ¿Qué utilizamos, Nerio? That's it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. There you have it. Bravo. Thank you. Let's go with Emma. Ajá, Emma, tell me your sentence. Maria likes strawberries. He doesn't like broccoli. I like eating fish, but I don't like butter. Very good. <laughs> I don't like butter. De verdad no le gusta la butter. No. Not even in cookies, ni en galletas. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, excellent, Emma. Very good, you guys. If you notice, and let me give you uh, my congratulations, Emma, porque hizo mucho énfasis en esa third person, likes, all right? Recuerden que como learners, como aprendices, siempre tenemos que hacer un esfuerzo extra porque suena esa S, all right? Así como acabamos de escuchar, likes, all right? Entonces podemos hacer ese énfasis, no hay ningún problema, all right? Cuando más acostumbremos el oído, más fácil será poder decirlo, likes, right? Sin hacer tanta énfasis. Pero ahorita sí lo tienen que hacer, all right? It's, it's mandatory. Es por obligación, all right? Para que aprendamos a que la third person lleva S. Let's go with Mayra. Action, Mayra. She likes candies. She don't like beans. My sister likes apples. But she don't like fish. All right. I boy screen. No, I boy train today. Okay, let's check the second one, Mayra. My sister likes. Likes. Uh -huh. Likes. Con ese. Likes. Sí, sí, también. My sister likes que era. Apples. Apples. Uh -huh. Y de ahí que puso. But she don't not like fish. Fish. Y my sister, Mayrita, sería first person singular or third person singular? Tercer, es ella. Entonces, ¿qué tiene que ir en vez de ese don't? Likes. Doesn't. Da doesn't. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Ah, sí, tiene razón. <laughs> Very good, Mayra, thank you. Excelente. Okay. Let's go with... Cecilia Romero, after Cecilia, lo voy a ir anotando porque después me bajan la mano. Cecilia Romero, after Cecilia, Marvin, after Marvin, Mayrene. Action. Okay. Uh, one. My son likes French fries, but he doesn't like vegetables. <gasps> Two. <laughs> I like vegetable, but not like fish. Three. My husband likes fruit, but he doesn't like pasta. All right, very good, excellent. Cecilia, let's check yeah. number two. Solo la número dos, Cecilia. Por ahí yes. escuché que me dijo not like. ¿Qué auxiliar cree usted que podemos utilizar para no decir not like, ya que no es posible? No like. Ajá, okay. vale. Usted me dijo not like, pero si uh -huh. no, como no podemos decir eso, ¿qué auxiliar iba a utilizar? Solo sería but not fish. Mm, no. Cecilia, don't. I don't mm -hmm. like fish. Oh, don't like fish. 
not like fish. Ajá. En vez de decir el not like, aquí se lo vamos Ajá. a ver en la pantalla, aquí por aquí, aquí donde dice practice time. Ajá. En vez de decir not like, Ajá. eso porque eso no se puede. Ajá. Va a decir don't. Si es, per, es first person singular, va a decir don't like. Don't like. Ajá. Ok, thank you. Very good, there you have it. Let's go with Marvin. After Marvin, Mayrene, and after Mayrene, Mrs. Rodriguez. Action mark. Okay, number one. Uh, my brother likes melon and banana, but he doesn't like mangoes. Number two. My co-workers like chicken with rice and beef, but, uh, but they don't like pork. Number three. My dog likes bread with coffee. Bread with coffee. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. No mistakes, Marvin. No tenemos ningún error en esas structures. Estamos correct. Thank you, teacher. Let's go with my Irene. I like yogurt, apples, and fish. I don't like broccoli and pasta. My sister likes cereal. Cereal. All right. Cereal. Very good. Cereal. Perfecta sus estructuras, pero ¿qué cree que pasó con la palabra yogurt? En uh, español we say yogurt, but in English, yogurt. 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 <laughs> yogurt. Ajá, exactly. Miren, okay. nuestro Spanish, thank you, my name. Perfect. Nuestro Spanish siempre, no se preocupen, all right? Siempre va a interferir nuestro español porque son palabras que las conocemos en Spanish. Yogurt, mangoes, all right? Mangoes. Entonces, it's normal. Pero sí, yo me voy a asegurar de que cuando nos entra ahí el Spanish, boom, mis arevalo says no. All right? Let's go with Cecilia Rodríguez. Action, Cecilia. Okay. I like to eat a lot of vegetables. And my son likes meal with cereal, but he doesn't like garlic. And my mother cooks with berry onion, but I don't like it. Very good, excellent. Let's check that one. Berry onion. En vez de ponerle berry, póngale many. Ya vamos a, a esta clase vamos a ver los count and non-count nouns. Okay. Right? Many onion. Oh, much onion. And Gracias. T-shirt. Yes? Sorry, may I go to the bathroom? Yes, honey, you can go. Yo quisiera, yo poder ir al bathroom. All right, go, Emma. Now, let's check you guys. Um, Cecilia, ¿cómo decimos? ¿Cereal o cereal? Cereal. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent. Thank you. All right, guys. Do I have another volunteer? Tengo otro voluntario, o ya empiezo a decir yo quiénes van a pasar. Okay, let me go with Alexis Balmore Perez. Number one, my mother likes eight apples and mangoes, but she doesn't like bread and pasta. Number two, I like chicken and tomato. Number three, they don't 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 like meal and cheese. Very good, excellent, Alexis. Very good. Let's go with Flor de Maria. My sister like meal, cereal, and banana. My father like tomato and broccoli. All right, excellent. I like eggs, pot potatoes. I don't la, la pasta. pasta. Mm -hmm. Very good, sir. Okay, repeat after me. My father likes. My father likes. 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 
Like. Exactly, that's correct. Esa es, esa es, right? Very good, Flor, thank you. Recuerden que en el third person singular utilizamos esa S. Let's go with E. Y aquí no me pueden decir teacher, es que es la costumbre. <laughs> no, right? Porque también learning English is part of getting used to it. Let's go with Nestor Amica. Nestor, tell me your sentences, please. Okay. Uh, I don't like potatoes and onion. David eats strawberries and apples. I like beef, but I don't like chicken. Very good, excellent, Nestor. Thank you. Carla Abrego, let's see, Carlita, tell me your sentences. Um, um, ay, ya las perdí. No. <laughs> Se me borraron. Number, <laughs> number one, I like beef and chicken. Number two, I don't like rice. In number three, Rafael likes cheese, but he doesn't like yogurt and milk. Bravo, excellent, very good. You guys, then we have a replacement. En esa oración, en vez de utilizar el he, ella utilizó el nombre de alguien, right? No se olviden que pueden hacer eso. En vez de decirme he, pueden utilizar el nombre de alguien, right? Excellent, Carla, thank you. Alexis. Hurtado, please tell me your sentences. I like to drink soy milk. They like to eat healthy. He does like cereal. I do like berry because. All right, excellent. Very good. Thank you. Let's check. I'm missing Jasmine. Let's check Jasmine your sentences. Jose likes cereals. I don't like broccoli. My sister likes mangoes. Very good, excellent. There you have it. And the last one, Beatriz Campos. Please tell me your sentences. I like milk um, strawberry. I don't like olio. She likes chicken and fish. He likes orange. He doesn't yogurt and tomato. Okay, he doesn't like yogurt and tomatoes. Yes, right. okay. Very good, excellent. You guys, if we don't like yogurt, imagínense la comida mediterránea que la gente hace todas sus cosas, la mayoría de cosas con dairy, con lácteos, right? Y, y obviamente seafood, comida marina, right? Seafood hasta decir ya no. Right, entonces, we need to get used to it. <laughs> si algún día viajamos, we need to get used to it from now on. Let's check, we have a conversation. Aplaudí para que se despierte, all right? No se me vayan a dormir. Let's see, how about some sandwiches, all right? What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad, right? That's not true. No todo el mundo le gusta la ensalada de pop. Let's check. Let's check over here, guys. Alguna palabra que les podría costar sería lemonade, tal vez, all right, lemonade. The e and refrigerator, right? Que esa puede costarnos por las eres, for the R's. And Teacher, la última. Uh, which one? Everyone. Esa, sí. Everyone. Very good, excellent. Yes, you guys, let's get started. Let's have Cecilia Rodriguez. You are Amanda. And I need an Ada. Necesito una Adam, all right? Do I have any volunteers? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Alexis. You are Ada. Alexis Hurtado. Action. What do you want for the picnic? 
Your microphone, Cecilia. Perdón. <laughs> mm. How about some sandwich? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. We have any drinks? No, we, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. At let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. That's correct. Thank you, guys. Very good job. Fluency, we are correct. En cuanto a la manera de hacer la conversation, vamos muy bien. All right? No problems with the pronunciation. No encontré ningún problema con la pronunciación. Let's go with Mayra and Alexis Perez. Mayra, you are Amanda. Alexis Perez, you are Ada. Luego va a ir Emma y ya le voy a buscar una Dan, Emma. All right? Action. What do you want for the picnic? Your microphone, Mayra. It's not open. Su micrófono no está abierto. Mm, how about some sandwich? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's 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 get some lemonade. I love about some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Very good job, excellent. No mistakes, we're doing correct. Let's go with Emma, you are Amanda, Marvin, por ahí que levantó la mano y luego la va. All right, so Marvin, you are Ada, action. Okay, uh, what do you want for the picnic? Hmm. How about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. That's correct, excellent, very good. You sound like you were happy to have the picnic. Como que de verdad quería ese picnic, all right? Excellent, very good. I bet I am. <laughs> yes, who's gonna pay? Quien paga? Okay. <laughs> all right, you guys, excellent. Let's check. Um, Mayrene, let's see, Mayrene, you are Amanda. And let me check. Nestor Amilcar, you are Ada. Action. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwich? Permítanme, cambiaron de roles. All right, Mayrene, you are Amanda. Oh, so sorry. You are Ada. Action. Okay. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwich? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Any but cheese. you have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some Potato salad? Sure, every light potato salad. All right, excellent. Thank you, guys. Bravo. Mm -hmm. Let's check. I was noticing the picture. Y ahora que veo la picture, de verdad que esa repista bien vacía. 
All right, they literally, they only have chicken. Literalmente solo tienen chicken. Let's go with Carla Abrego. You are Amanda. And Emma, do you have a question? No, no. Ah, que levanto la mano. I forget. I forget. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, don't worry. Uh, Cecilia Rodriguez, you haven't passed. Si sí, usted ya pasó, right? Yes. All right. Excellent. Let's yes, go. Teacher. Let's go with Carla Abrego. You are Amanda. And let's go with Kimberly Elena. You are Ada. Usted va a ser Ada. Action. Okay. What do you want for the picnic? Mm. How about some sandwich? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Bravo, excellent. Good intonation, fluency. We are correct. Let's go with Kenya Sanchez. Kenya, you are Adam. Usted va a ser Adam. Jasmine, okay. you are Amanda. Actually. What do you what, what do you want from a day picnic? Mm, how about some sandwich? Okay. We we'll have some chicken in the refri hair, but we don't have any break. Uh, any when don't have any cheese. Do we have any drink? No, we need some. All right, let's go. Let's get some lemonade. And let's put some potato salt. Sure, everyone likes potato salt. That's correct, excellent. Thank you, girls. Let me go with Nerio. Do I have Nerio over here? Yes, Lourdes Nerio. You are Adam. Usted va a ser Adam. And Cecilia Romero, you haven't passed. Usted no ha participado, right? No. Okay, you are Amanda. Action. Okay. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm. What awesome sandwich? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. <laughs> and we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. Uh, all right, let's get some lemonade all right and let and let's buy some potatoes salad sure everyone everyone likes potato salad that's correct excellent thank okay. you girls no mistakes now, let's go with the last pair. Como no somos muchos, hoy sí quiero que pasen todos, right? Let's go with Flor de María. You are Adam. Usted va a ser Adam. Beatriz Campos, you are Amanda. Action. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Oh, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread and and we don't and we don't have <coughs> any cheese cheese do do we have any drinks no we we need some i really like 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 some lemonade 
and legs, but some potato salad. Sure, Erin, like pota potato salad. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Flor de Maria, repeat after me. Let's. Let's, let's, let's go. Some let's potato get. salad. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank let's you. Let's get girl. it. All right, there you have it, everybody. Let's pass yes. to the follow. Solo voy a hacer un paréntesis, everyone, all right? La palabra refrigerator, ese vocabulary ya lo vieron, all right? No se nos puede olvidar, and this is for everyone. No se nos puede olvidar. It's not refrigerio, it's not another word. Refrigerator, 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 right? Let's try to practice that word. Sé que hay palabras que cuestan, all right? Pero no se preocupen, entre más practiquen, lo van a lograr. What are nouns? ¿Qué son los nouns? A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. Un noun puede ser una persona, un lugar, o un objeto, right? In other words, Many things that you see around you are now. Muchas de las cosas, si no es que la mayoría de cosas que vemos alrededor de nosotros son nouns. Right? Are nouns. So, I already have this uh, for you. Let's check. Alexis Hurtado, tell me again the information. Vuelva a leer la información. Uh, and now, uh, Miss. ¿Cómo se dice igual en inglés? Equals. Equals. And now equals a person, a place, or a thing. In other words, many things that you see around you are nouns. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Emma, tell me the information again, please. What are nouns? A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. In other words, many things that you see around you are nouns. Excellent, that's correct. Cecilia Rodriguez, tell me again the information, please. Ya tomar café. Cecilia, I'm sorry, disculpe. What are, are nouns? A noun equal a, pers a person, a place, or a thing. In other words, many things that you see around you are now. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alexis, a Emma, and Cecilia. ¿Por qué hice leer a tres personas la misma information? Eso ayuda a que se nos quede un poco más la information, all right? En breve, aunque sean unas cuantas palabras de la information, pero se nos queda. Y aparte, todos aprendemos de la pronunciation de todos, all right? Eso es lo bonito de tener clases grupales, que ustedes aprenden de la pronunciación de otros classmates y también de la de la teacher. All right, let's get into the business. Let's get into the business, All right? Entremos en el asunto, everybody, en el negocio. Let's see. Copy this, copien esto, All right? Esto lo tienen en un video, pero estoy segura que al ver el video tal vez solo lo vamos a escuchar y no lo vamos a copiar. So, copy this. Cuando terminen de copiarlo, me avisan para mover en la slide. So, if somebody asks you, what are nouns? Si alguien les pregunta, ¿qué es un noun? Simplemente pueden decir, a noun equals a person, a place or a thing, all right? A place, eh, a noun puede ser cualquier cosa que esté alrededor de nosotros, right? Puede ser una persona, un lugar o un objeto, right? You don't need to tell the whole information. No es necesario que digamos toda la información. Si es bueno que la sepamos. Pero si queremos ser breves, solo decimos, a noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. Y ya la persona sabe a qué se refiere. All right. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Eh, los, uh, hay excepciones para los nouns, que no sean personas, lugares o cosas, porque lo siento como que prácticamente es todo lo que no. Sí, es que es todo. Es todo, Marvin. Es todo. Imagínense, ah, okay. un subject pronoun. Un sujeto del pronombre también puede ser un noun. Y lo conocíamos como subject pronoun, right? Puede llegar a ser un noun, dependiendo de cómo esté colocado en la sentence. 
Eh, sí, Marvin, ahí es casi todo, hasta los colores, los animales, all right? Todo eso son nouns. Ok, teacher, thank you. Excellent. Very good, very good. Now, I think you already finished getting this information, right, on your notebooks. Let's move on. Some and any, my friends. Let's check this one. Esto es para los count and non-count nouns. Para los nouns que se pueden contar o para los que no se pueden contar, all right? Como lemonade, lemonade, la limonada no la pueden contar, all right? Water tampoco. So let's get in these ones. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread, right? Count nouns, count nouns, and if, X, right? Podemos contar los huevitos, se pueden contar, right? An egg or eggs. A sandwich or sandwiches. También los empanerados o los sándwiches <laughs> se pueden contar, all right? non count nouns. Bread, el pan. Sí, nosotros tenemos pan francés y podemos contarlo, pero nosotros, right? In other words, en otra parte del mundo, no. <laughs> okay, so they don't count the bread. Ellos no cuentan el pan. Lemonade. You can't count lemonade, which is a non-count noun. A specific, I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General, eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. Okay, let's have Cecilia Rodriguez. You ask. Usted va a preguntar, Cecilia. And let me check. Nestor Amilcar, usted va a contestar. You answer. Action. The first teacher. Yeah, the first one and the second one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do we need any X? Yeah, let's get some X. No, we don't need any X. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Carla Abrego, you ask. Emma, you answer. Yo, yo, ya me, ya me perdí. Usted pregunta, do we? Ah, ah, ah ok, ok. Um, do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Very good, excellent. Mayrene Fuentes, you ask. Usted pregunta en Kenya Sanchez, you answer. Usted contesta Kenya. Action. Do we need any, do we need any egg? Yes. Let's let get. Espérame que casi no veo la pantalla. Ahora sí. Hoy sí. Yes, let's get some. Sin necesidad de pronunciar los eggs. Mm -hmm. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes, you can omit that information. Ah, okay. No, okay. <clears throat> no we don't need any. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some. No, we don't need any. Exactly, thank you. All right, guys, let's check this out. Chequeamos lo que acaba de suceder ahorita, right? Podemos omitir el noun, right? Como ya Mayrene está utilizando X en la question, podemos hacer una omission in the answer. Podemos omitirlo en la respuesta, right? Y no hay ningún problema con eso. As long as we know, What we're talking about, mientras sepamos de lo que estamos hablando, ustedes pueden hacer la omisión. Pero si ustedes consideran que es necesario repetir el noun, pueden decirlo, no problem. All right? Let's move on. Guiding examples. Let's check. Cecilia Romero, please tell me the guiding examples. Me lee las dos oraciones. Okay. One. 
I need some apples. Two, I don't need any bread. That's correct. Excellent. Let's check this one, everybody. You can only use some if it's a positive statement. Si tenemos una oración en afirmativo o positivo, podemos hacer uso de some. If not, don't use it. Si no, no lo utilicen. De acuerdo al video, ¿ok? I don't need any bread. El any lo vamos a utilizar la mayoría de veces para las preguntas, questions, and for negative statements. Y para las oraciones en negativo. All right? Are we clear or do you have any questions? Hasta aquí, ¿estamos claritos o tenemos alguna duda? Son teacher dijo afirmativas y positivas. Yes, el, no, el son es para affirmative. Ajá, ah, sí, afirmativas y positivas, es lo mismo. All right. Excelente. ¿Puedo repetir, teacher, que no escuché yes. bien? Claro que sí. Some, we use some for positive statements. Aquí lo tienen, miren, solo que está un poquito chiquita la letra, all right. Let me make it bigger. You can, you can only use some if it's a positive statement. Si tenemos una oración en positivo o afirmativo, como mencionaba Mayrita, pueden utilizar el some, all right? Y si tienen una oración en negativa o quieren generar una pregunta, utilizan el any, ¿ok? So far, do you have another question? Hasta ahorita no les he dado ninguna estructura porque si ustedes notan qué estructura es esa. Veamos qué tiempo gramatical están esas oraciones. Present. 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 Exactly, present. Entonces esas structures ustedes ya las tienen. Right? Solo que han adquirido nuevo vocabulary, new vocabulary, and you are using it. Como han adquirido nuevo vocabulario, lo estamos utilizando. All right, you guys. So if you don't have any more questions, vamos a dejar el practice time para mañana. Tenemos otra conversation. Y esta semana tenemos para terminar la section four. Right? Así que pueden ir avanzando ya. Si les surge alguna duda, pues let me know. All right, everyone. That was pretty much it for today's class. It has been a pleasure to see you and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Good evening. Bye. Good evening, Good evening. Good evening teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.